Hi everyone, Barry here from Matisse Cross. Thank you for joining me today and thank you for joining me for our next episode of Funfold Friday. Um, so for today's project, I'm going to be using this suite right here. So the Expressions in Ink suite. It's a beautiful suite. It's on page 96 and page 97 of the current annual catalogue. So the May 21 to May April 2022 annual catalogue. So it can be found, I'd say, on 96 and 97 of that catalogue. Um, it's a beautiful set. Loving this. It's a very inky background. So you can, you can get, if you like your alcohol ink techniques and your messy backgrounds, this is a great way that you can achieve some really, really nice stuff without getting messy. Um, you have got this lovely set here. So this stamp set and it comes with some dies as well. If you like that together, remember to use it down here as a 10%. You get yourself a 10% discount if you buy the two together. Or alternatively, you can go for the entire suite here. So the Expressions in Ink suite, which comes with everything you see on this page. Um, under one product number, which you've got here. So 155459, one product number. You still get your 10% off of everything down here, but you get everything else included. So as I said, it's really bright, it's vibrant, it's fun. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun playing with this one here today. So as I said, this is what I'm going to be using for today's fun fold. So I'm not exactly sure what today's fun fold is called. It's uh, it's, it's a upright card. Um which has got like a bit of a sliding mechanism. I will come up with a name by the time I post this video, but at the time of recording, I haven't got a name for it, so which is great, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so it's going to be a fun fold. It's very easy to do, so hopefully very easy for you to replicate as well, which is what I want to, which is what I want to see. So good. Links to all of our online shops can be found, or all of our online shops, or our, our online shop can be found down below in the description, as well as links to our website for more inspiration, our donation buttons if you'd like to help us donate. We are actually on a premiere at the moment, at time of recording, so if, this is, if you are watching this on the premiere, there is the Super Chat button. So if you would like to donate to us live whilst this Super Chat, whilst this video is going on, the Super Chat is there. Basically, any money which you help, which you donate us, no matter how big or small, helps us continue to bring videos like this to you. So um, we would appreciate anything if you would like to. But if not, there is some donation links down below in the description as well if you if you would like to. Um, so yes, so please leave some comments down below as well. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you're having a go. And if you do have a go at this video as well, please share with us um, using our hashtag or our at. So tag us using at Matusu Crafts and hashtag Matusu Crafts on your social media. And that will then help us be able to spot um, your your projects and we can have a little look at what you've had to go as well and i know that some of you enjoy making these cards after this as well we've seen some great projects from you and um, that you've cased or been inspired to have a go at some different variations of the folds which we've been doing as well which is really good to see which is what i want to which is what the, what the whole purpose of this is is to hopefully teach you something new and um and yeah just play and craft so good, so we're going to crack on with today's project. I'm going to go through the measurements for you. It's going to be in centimetres. Going to go through the measurements for you and we will start crafting. Just have fun and enjoy. Okay, so you are going to need to take yourself some cardstock. So let's just talk ourselves through what you've got here. So I'm going to be using my card base. I'm going to be using some of the basic black. So this needs to be 14.6 centimetres by 21 and then we're going to need to score it at 10 and a half down the middle. So that's that one. We would also need another piece here measuring 15 centimetres by 14 centimetres. And we're going to score on a 15 centimetre edge at 5 and 10. Okay. You will need some basic white. This is going to be a matte and layer, which is going to be 9.8 by 13.9. Let's bring this out so you can see. You will need some designer series paper. So this is the paper which I've been using. And again... Look how beautiful this is. And this is 9.5 by 13.6. And you will need two basic white pieces here, these ones right here, measuring 4.5 by 13.5. Okay, so that's what we have got right there. So hopefully you can um, take note of that and you've got them all for you. You will also need, I'm not sure what paper I'm going to be using, we're going to need some scrap of some of the fresh freeze or your chosen colour, either fresh freezer or polished pink. And we'll need another scrap here, which is half an inch by 
a long length because we are going to cut it down but it's better to start off with probably a 10 centimeter length by half an inch sorry half an inch which is probably around about 1.3 um 1.3 let's have a little look and tell you 1.3 centimeters because i'm going to be using it in the banners pick a punch so you'll need something like that as well all right but that will make sense as and when we come to doing that so good, I'm going to do, going to take my black layers here and I'm going to do some scoring. So take your card base, so your largest one, your 14.6 by 21, and we want to then score this at 10 and a half centimetres. So we're basically just creating our normal card base. So this is all our normal card bases. And then we'll take the full, uh, 15 by 14 piece, make sure we're along the 15 edge here. And then I want to then score this at five and 10. So you'll end up with three panels measuring five, 10, and then 15. So five, 10. So five, 10, 15, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold and burnish my two pieces here. Now I'm going to run this through the machine actually. So if you don't if you don't fold and burnish this one just yet, it's not a major issue. Um, and then I'm just going to fold this. So I'm going to do this like a concertina. So I'm going to fold one in on itself. Like that. So it's like that. And then I either will then fold the other one back on itself. So you end up with, with that. And then I'll just fold and burnish. That line. This is the one which you really need to try and make sure that you get nice and nice and flat. This is going to go on the inside of the card, so it doesn't spring up too much. Over time, once the card is left flat anyway, that would sort itself out. But initially, it's going to want to spring up. So that's the one which you want to try and get as flat as possible. So good. So we can pop that to one side. What we're going to do first, we're going to need to do a little bit of preparation on some of our cardstock here. So we've got our basic whites and our designer series paper. So these are cut to size that they give us a nice mat and layer right here. So I'm just going to remo remove my post-it notes. But we're going to need to do some die cutting, okay? Um, and we're going to need to do some die cutting through all three of these pieces, all three of these because eventually this is going to go on the front of the card like so, just like that. Now, we're going to do some die cutting with the stitched rectangles. So we've got the stitched rectangles here, and I'm going to be using one of the large, not the largest, but I'm going to be using one of the largest ones. So again, whatever one you decide and fits your card nicely is then going to go on the inside here. But to go through three pieces of cardstock is going to be quite a lot. So what I need to do is I need to gut this. And you can either gut this with your trimmer. Or you can use one of the largest dies. So let's just see what largest ones we've got here. To go around the edge. So if I use that one here, I know that then I'm still going to get myself a mat and layer. And I'm going to remove most of that inside here. So that one would work quite nicely. Or alternatively, I could still use the next one down if I want to give myself a bigger border, more to stick with. So that's the third one down. And what I've actually used for what I'm going to be using for the front face on this one here is the fourth one down. So if you've got the stitched rectangles, I'm going to use the third largest and the fourth largest. So I'm just going to gut my white piece first. So don't chuck it. And the bit which you're going to, and this bit which you're going to be left over with is going to be scrap. But you you can because you're going to be using it with the dies and these nice stitch dies, it will be a nice. It will be perfect for another project. Pop your dies, especially when you've got a straight edge in your machines at an angle, because if you struggle to put straight edge stuff through your machines, it's going through. It's because you're going in straight. As soon as you put it in at an angle, it goes through the machine smoothly. Okay, so that's that part done. What we can do then is we want to then stick this designer series paper to the white, the basic white, and then we then want to stick this to the card base.
And then when I stick it to the basic black, black card layer, I'm gonna put glue all over. I need to make sure, because we're gonna be die cutting the center part out again, I need to make sure there's a lot of glue in the middle here so it doesn't fall off. Okay, so I need to go around the outside as well as the inside. So that is our card. So if we were just making an ordinary card, that's basically all we're doing at the moment is that we've just created our card with a matte and layer and some nice DSP. You can then do some stamping. You can pop a nice sentiment just on here somewhere and job's done. You've got yourself a simple card right here, but we'll obviously this is a fun fold series. So we're now gonna then turn it into something different. So I've grabbed the next size down with the stitch rectangle and I'm gonna then pop this through and I'm gonna die cut the whole thing out in the middle. But remember, I'm now gonna need to pop this through the machine like this. And this is why we needed to pop it glue across the entire center part here, because we need to make sure that, that was stuck. So we're gonna run that through the machine. We're gonna centralize that between this piece here and die cut this out. You will need to give it a little bit of welly because you are gonna be going through DSP and the basic black layer, but obviously not the white because we've gutted it. So that's just gonna make that a little bit easier for you. There we go, and that has now just popped up nicely. That actually went through quite well first time round. It was a little bit tight, so I just need to just make sure I went through carefully. But we have now got ourselves our card with our aperture cut out the centre right here. We're going to be using this part as well for later on. This is also part of the card, so don't worry, we haven't wasted this. This is part of it. So good, so we are going to take this part right here, and we are going to now pop this inside the card all right so we are going to make sure it needs to go in this way so you've got the as you almost as if like you're opening up your card again so if you were to hold it down you fold you're opening it up so that's how that's going in like that so we're just going to pop some glue on the, the back of this side right here and then carefully centralize this down so that we get a nice even border, top, side, and bottom. These two pieces which we got here, so our basic white pieces, we've got these ones. These are gonna go on the inside here. So this is where you can then write just some sentiment area here. So these were the 4.5 by 13.5 strips. We're gonna pop those two on the inside here. So small pieces that you can write some, you can write a sentiment and it works quite nicely with the black as well, the black and the white. So it's those two pieces centralized in there quite nicely. So we will come back to the rest of that in a second. I now need to do some preparations. So I have got my, well, this part here actually, which we cut out, I can use this for my sentiment. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna cut out another rectangle. So another one down. So this will be a couple down from that one. And I'm gonna die cut this out. Okay, so that's those ones cut. I went ahead and I cut a fresh freezer, so I've got one I can then actually just test it. I'm only gonna be using one of these, but I don't know what color I wanna use yet. And I you might have seen that I still die cut this one out here and I cut this one out nicely in the middle. So I've now got myself a nice aperture, which I'm hopefully I will be able to use for something else. So just think about when you're cutting it, think, well, can I use that scrap, especially when you've got these nice stitched edges, that's gonna make a nice frame for something. So. We'll see whether or not we can come up with something with that later on for another video. I'm gonna be using the Artistically Inked stamp set here. Loving this happy birthday sentiment. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna make myself a nice happy birthday card. But you may be thinking to yourself, 
it's too big, but that's fine. I'm going to do some partial stamping and then move it down. And I'm going to be using the leaves right here and the flowers and the leaves right here. So I'm going to be using this one, this one, and this one. Not going with the bigger ones yet because it's too much for this particular card. But um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for this. So I'm going to take this one right here. I'm going to grab myself a bit of scrap paper just to stamp on so I don't stamp on my table. And I'm going to stamp happy birthday. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to just use my pads. Actually, I can do that this way here. And I'm just going to then ink, because I can use the the image on top here to help me gauge to make sure I don't stamp up birthday. So I've got this like that. Stamp up. And I'm just going to use this grid paper here just to give me an idea to make sure everything is straight. So I'm just going to put that in a grid, what I think is a grid. And then it will give me an indication if that is straight. So it's a little bit high on the happy. So if I just bring the, the H down a little bit, hopefully that should level off. But we will gauge. We will do our best. Again, if you've got grid paper, this is a great way of you um, just helping you out. So I'm just going to ink up the happy again. I'm just going to go... So I would normally stand up and look over this, but it's a little bit hard for me to do that. So I'm hopefully, I think I've got that pretty straight. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, so now what you're gonna need to do is clean your stamp. So I'm gonna use my scrub, which I freshly put my cleaning solution on that one. Dry that. But don't go ahead and do this straight away because depending on how clean your scrub is, you will leave residue. Can you see on here I have got myself some residue on? So stamp off on some scrap paper first to take off any excess ink, which may have just the dirty ink from the liquid from the scrub, just to do that and it's dry. Because the last thing you want to do, and again, ask me how I know because I've done this, Go ahead and then do your second part, and then this one here is slightly dirty from from clean from when cleaning it, and you are then left with like a ghost shadow of the happy. So that's just a little tip for you there. Clean it, but then make sure you stamp off a couple of times on some scrap paper to remove any of the excess excess moisture. Then I'm going to do exactly the same here with the birthday. So I'm just going to bring it into my pad and then stamp up ink up birthday. Just paying attention not to actually get it on the Y of the happy. All right, so there we go. And then I will then take that down. I will stand up on this one. Hold that in place. And there we go. All right, so that's how if you've got yourself a long sentiment, you can then just do yourself some partial stamping as well. And hopefully don't make the same mistakes as I did on other projects, not this one, because I, I learned from mistakes, with the ghost stamping. So clean it, dry it, and then pop it away. But obviously if you're doing it again, just take off. Just, just few times just takes off any of that excess. It's normally also an indication that you need to clean your scrub as well. So you can clean your scrubs if you've got one of these. You can remove the, you can remove these. You can get something underneath and you can then pull these out and then pop them in the bath and then go and just soak them under some water and you'll be, I think you'll be surprised if you've not cleaned yours before, you're gonna be surprised how dirty they are. And um, so if you are finding that you're getting some ghosting like this, then it you may just it may be time to clean it. So I will hopefully do that very soon. We do have two scrubs as well. So we have one which is clean and one which is dirty. So whilst one is drying, we can be using another. It was very handy when we had two class when we did classes in person as well. 
So good, so there's my happy birthday sentiment on here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do some stamping. So I'm gonna grab my colors. So I've got soft succulent, fresh freesia, polished pink, and pale papaya. And I'm going to open up some of these. I'm gonna do the soft succulent first. And I'm just going to go in off center and then just pop that down like that. I'll come back to a soft succulent again shortly. And I'm gonna take the polished pink, the fresh freesia and the pale papaya. And I'm gonna take the small circular stamp and flower. And I'm gonna just make like a little bit of a triple stamp here. So I'm gonna to need to clean in between because I'm gonna be using different colors. So fresh freesia, clean it, dry it, just stamp off a little bit. Do the same here with the polished pink up the top. Clean, dry. Take off the excess and then do the pale papaya. And we go down there. So we've made a little cluster of flowers and clean and dry. And then I'm gonna then just take the soft succulents again here and I will then just do one over the bottom like this, just in the corner, just uh, finish that off there and maybe just pop another one like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to then pop uh, one at the top there and kind of come in and in like that. It's just going to add hopefully a little bit of interest. up the top there, just to give me a little bit of leafage coming in from the top right. So instead of actually doing the stitched, the stitching here, I'm gonna actually just cut this down. So I didn't need to do the die cutting. So I just need to work out what this is, what this sentiment is here. So this is around about a 4.6. So I'll take that, to, I will take that to 4.9. So I'm just gonna take off, some of those, so I'll take that to a 4.9, I think. So I've just removed that stitching. So that's gonna give me a nice, that's gonna give me a thinner border on the side there. And then I'll just measure this one here, which is a 8.1. So I would take that to 8.1. Let's just take off the stitching. So I'll take that to one, two, three, and 8.4. going to go on like that so that's just that's just reduce that down a fraction we've got a bit of the polished pink which is going to just pop off of that but it's not i don't think it's as it's as in your face it's not as vibrant um not as distracting as the large water and we get to see more of this lovely green designer series paper with the gold the gold foiling in there as well all right so that's what i've gone and done so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to stick this piece to the polished pink now. And then just centralize that and then just wiggle that around so that's nice and even there. So who else, who's got this set yet? Who wants this set? Is this set on your wish list? Um, I'm loving it. We haven't played with it properly yet. So this is one of the first cards made with this for us. But first of many, I'm sure. And that's gonna go on that. And that is gonna go on the back on the top of this. 
with some dimensionals. So I'm just going to get the dimensionals on this part ready, but I'm not going to stick it on just yet. So I will go with probably five. So one in each corner and then one in the middle. Right there, so that part is ready to get mounted onto this one here. We can now bring this in, so we can now start to finish this card off. Good, and this is gonna get stuck back in this here. So grab your glue, seat this part back into this hole, the, whatever way round, obviously I'm gonna match it up with the paper and the pattern. And we're just going to pop some glue, fold this flat, and we're just going to pop some glue on the inside, but we're just going to pop it on that, on this part which is bouncing up. So hold it flat, and then just pop some glue. On that part there. And then bring this back in, whatever way around you want to do it, and then seat that back into that die cut. And then stick that down. So that there has now created our card. So that basically is going to stand up and look like that. So it, look, it's coming out. We've got this part which is going to be coming out here. And then that looks nice as it's on the, as it's on your fireplace, your mantelpiece, whatever it is. So we are going to take a little tab right here. So you remember I cut myself a little bit from earlier on. So this is, which was 1.3 centimeters wide by a long length, but that's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in the banners punch because I like these little fish tails right here on this one. And I'm gonna pop this in and I'm just gonna punch myself out these little fish tails right here. And then I will then just grab my trimmer once again. And I took this to around about five centimeters. So I just line that up with five centimeters and then just trim this off. So we're ending up with now with the fishtails taken out about a five centimeter piece. And if we're gonna, I'm gonna be using obviously this basic white because I think this works all right with this one. Or I could use, I will see, I'm going to use, or we'll see, I'm going off piece again now. So this is a bit of the off cut of the polish pink. Because this is too small. I just need to make sure that that is the yeah, end okay. I just trim that off at five centimeters because that's down just a little bit larger. And I decide, do I use polish pink to match the, to match my frame? That will go in like that. And hopefully that will then just hopefully indicate that there is a pull tab here. And then we will then go like this. This is a very manly card. Now I've used the polish pink, it doesn't make it as manly, I guess. Um, so I will just use whatever colors you like. It probably would be nice with some nice blues on here as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna then just take this and then stick this to the inside of this layer right here. So a little bit of glue on that side, centralize it up, push it up against the cardstock, and then just centralize that. Like so, and that kind of indicates a little bit that hopefully that there's, oh, pull that and then as they pull that it kind of pulls itself it's just uh, hopefully an indication on something if you had a small stamp saying pull me on it you could have that on there 
to finish this off, I'm just going to take our dimensionals off of the off of our sentiments. And pop that in the center, just like this. And there we have it. There is today's Funfold Friday card, which will then open up like this and then go flat for postage. A little bit of height on there, a little bit of weight, so it probably won't go through as a standard letter, but I'm sure whoever receives this will love it. All right, so there we go. So I did do another one here. This is using the in colors, using the same set and using the hello. So I kept this very uh, monotone on this one. Um, it kept it all the green. So this is the in color designer series paper as well. So we've got evening evergreen, we've got the soft succulent here, and then I've used the evening of white and the evening evergreen on the inside. And that's, that's that one there, which I quite like as well. I haven't done the sentiment panels in this one, but that's easily, easily done. And that goes there. So that's another idea of what you can do. But I wanted to show it to you with this lovely designer series paper with that gold, gold foiling in there. So there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you. I, I hope that is clear enough that you want to have a go at doing this yourself. Um, like I say, I'm sure there's, um, I'm seeing a lot of people doing some of our, our projects now, which is really good to see. So thank you very much. Um, but hopefully today's one was nice and easy for you to follow as well. Um, as I mentioned before, if you've got any requests, you, any projects you would like to see us doing, please message us, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com or pop a little comment down below in the description, um, in, down below, and um, saying, please, can you make another this type of card? And I will research it. And if it, I feel like it's something I can do, um, I will eventually get around to doing it. But yes, please give us some ideas and hopefully I, I, I may do it for you. So good. There we go. Thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you for everyone who has donated. If you've used a super chat, thank you for everyone who's donated afterwards. Um, thank you for everyone who shops with us. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I will see you again um, on Sunday for our live. And I will see you again next Friday for another Funfold Friday video. See you soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Thank you.